If you have ever looked for your car keys or been lost in an unfamiliar place, you know how incredibly useful it is to understand and remember your surroundings. Project Tango is adding this capability to mobile devices so they can track their motion, recognize spaces, and scan the surroundings in 3D. Its ability to recognize spaces means it can determine its exact position, find your car keys, and remember where you put your virtual pet monster. In this episode, we will talk about area learning concepts and how to get started with Project Tango Explorer. Project Tango combines visual and inertial data to give mobile devices an understanding of position and orientation. It gets the visual data from its cameras and the inertial data from its built-in acceleration and rotation sensors. This is combined into motion tracking data, which provides the device relative motion. Area learning extends this data to remember areas and to estimate the device position within them. You can use this for multiple purposes, such as precise indoor navigation, placing virtual objects in the physical world, or to share virtual world with other users. To use area learning, you must first learn an area, so the system will be able to recognize the area later. The combination of learning and localization is similar to what humans do. When you enter a new building, you quickly get a picture of its layout, and you can use this memory to find your way around at a later time. Project Tango saves the learned memories into an area description file, or ADF. This file contains descriptions of visual landmarks that the system uses when looking for known places. An ADF enables the device to estimate its position through a process we call localization. Another important aspect of area learning is that the device can refine its position estimate relative to the area it is in. This is great if you want to fixate a virtual world in the physical world. For example, if you want to put an elephant in the living room and have it stay there. Without area learning, the system can only estimate its position based on small increments in the motion of the device. This method introduces inaccuracies, as it requires incredibly precise sensors to be able to track motion like this. Just imagine you had to count your steps and turns to be able to know where you are. It's error prone. Area learning sidesteps this whole issue by storing visual references that it can use to calculate its position. In other words, the ADF is the frame of reference in area learning. To make area description files, you can either implement area learning in your own app or use a developer tool like Project Tango Explorer to learn an area. But first, you need to know that area descriptions are not created equal. It's possible to learn an area with different levels of quality depending on how much of the area you have learned. For instance, it's going to make a big difference if you only take a picture from one perspective versus taking pictures of all the perspectives of a room. The more coverage you have, the easier it will be for the device to recall it has been in the area before. It is important to note that the success of area learning also depends on visual characteristics of the environment. An ideal environment has distinguishing visual features, mostly stationary objects, and does not change much over time. Environments that are visually bland, such as long, undecorated hallways, or places with a lot of moving people, can be harder for the system to remember. Light also changes the way things look. So if the lighting conditions vary a lot in the area, you may need to have a couple of ADFs for the brightest and darkest time of day. Project Tango allows you to learn and load an ADF. The ADF will be stored uh, in the flash memory and can be used in other apps to find their position and orientation. You can download Explorer from the Play Store, but let's go through how it works in practice. In the default mode, click the Learn button to create a new ADF and walk around in the area in one direction. Remember, the system benefits from having seen more of the space, so once done walking around, walk back in the opposite direction. This increases the coverage and makes it easier to use the ADF later. In the end, we save the ADF to a file. It then takes three steps to localize in the area. First, be in an area that has been learned and for which there is an ADF. Second, load the ADF for the area. And third, move the device to compare the ADF to the area. Once the system have recognized the area, you will be receiving real-time updates on the position and orientation of the device. 
You will only see a blue trace in the beginning and until the system figures out where it is. This is the relative motion tracking trace, which you can learn more about in the introduction to motion tracking video. As soon as the system recognizes the area using the ADF, a green trace will appear. This is the position of the device in the area you have learned. The system now uses the learned data to correct the device position within this area. Area learning adds the ability to visually recognize known areas and locate the device within them. Whether you want to have a monster under your bed or have an elephant in your living room, area learning will allow you to do that. Visit our Google Plus community and join us on our journey. We're excited to see what you will build with Project Tango.